my god, it feels weird. Oh! If you think Brunei is boring, then I promise that this is the video that will change your mind. I'm driving across the longest bridge in Southeast Asia to take you on a journey deep into the heart of the jungle. Join me as we encounter flesh-eating fish, angry fire ants, and stay tuned until the end of the video to see me conquer one of the most unexpected and thrilling hikes of my life. Oh, and make sure you're sitting down for this episode if you're afraid of heights. Grab the bug spray because our adventure begins right now. I think it's time for a proper adventure. What do you guys think? Now when you think of Brunei, you probably don't think of somewhere that looks like this. When you hear the words Brunei, maybe you think of the city, maybe you think of the beautiful mosques, maybe you think of the laws or think of the government. But to me, this right here, this is the real Brunei. We are in a place called Tamburong. I'm gonna be spending the next night here. We're uh, staying at a place called the Sumbling Eco Village. You're gonna to wanna to see the cabin we're staying in in just a little bit here. But tomorrow, I'm going to be taking you on a journey deep into the national park known as Ulu Temburong, where hopefully we're gonna see monkeys, crazy insects, and who knows what else, and maybe meet some cool people along the way, as we always do. But for tonight, we are living the eco village life. Okay, so here is my, my cabin, my eco cabin, I guess. Uh, we're gonna go inside and check it out. Ah, yo, what do you guys think of this? Would you stay here? We got a little uh, shelf over there, a little desk to put your stuff at. We got two trash cans, a little mirror. Make sure you're looking good, feeling good. One fan and two fans, because I suspect it's gonna get a little hot in here because we are uh, in the jungle. And then we got our bed right here. Digging the design. Decent, decent amount of, uh, of fluff and comfort to it. I mean, again, we are in the jungle and we are kind of roughing it a little bit. And then this is what we're gonna wake up to in the morning, guys. Whoa, look at all these ants on the move. I don't think those are fire ants. I just think they're ant ants. I think they definitely would have told me if there were like fire ants on the property. Okay, maybe those were fire ants because uh, one crawled on my toe and it was like, it was a shock and it still kind of hurts. Like it felt like it bit me or it stung me or something like a very odd sensation. Anytime I get bit by, I mean, let's check it out. It kind of looks like it's swelling up actually. Um, can't tell. I mean, it doesn't, doesn't like hurt her. Just like, that's weird. That's annoying. But anytime like I get bit by a new bug, I'm like, Hope I'm not allergic to this shit. I mean, what do we think? That is the bit or the stung toe. And that's the regular one. Regular, stung. It definitely looks more like red, right? Or am I just tripping? No, that thing definitely looks more red. Dang. Fire ants. Bitches. So our friend here is going to show us where they collect the vegetable. And what's the name of that? Pakis. Pakis. And we're gonna be having that for dinner tonight. Boy, the pockets kind of looks like something different, if you know what I mean. Just rip it yeah. off like that. Okay, yes. wow. That's yours. <laughs> My first one. Wow, look at that. That's a, actually a really unique and beautiful vegetable. Look at those designs. Nature, truly, truly never ceases to amaze me. And uh, everybody, this is Leslie. Leslie is the owner of the Sumbling Eco Resort. Uh, he drove me up here. He's been a great guide and. Now we're talking veggies, yeah. and all this is gonna be prepared uh, in our dinner tonight. Misai Koching. Uh, cat whisker. Cat whisker? Yep. And we can eat that? Yep. It's an herb. Yeah, it's a herb, can eat. Mm. Oh, let me try some, why not? Mm. Of course, no Tesla. <laughs> just pull, just like this? <laughs> no, nah, the, the whole flower. Oh, I take the whole thing, okay, that makes more sense. Okay, just like this. Mm. Okay, my first, uh, my first taste of the cat whisker. We might have to make ourselves some tea with this uh, in that case. Mm. It's kind of bitter. I'm very bitter. <laughs> the cat whiskers are uh, very bitter. I'm breaking up the cat whiskers into this cup here to make my own cat whisker tea. Coming to a Starbucks near you guys. All right, we're gonna put in the boiling water. And all right, our first proper sip of the cat whisker tea. I let it sit, uh, let it steep for about 10 minutes, guys. Pow. Mm. Mm. It tastes like a potato. <laughs> Interesting, yeah. It's very starchy tasting. It literally tastes like eating 
a raw potato. So it's almost time for dinner and they want me to prepare a bamboo chicken. So they've laid out all the ingredients here. We've got the lemongrass, the turmeric, we've got the salt, we've got the pepper. Pepper, <laughs> they called this awesome tamarind, so like that super sour tamarind. And then we've got ginger and well, those look like some chicken cutlets to me. All right, and now it's time to mix everything together. I'm gonna gently rub all the herbs, all the spices, the salt and pepper, the tamarind, the lemongrass in there. And now we are going to stuff the chicken uh, into the bamboo here. Never done this before. One by one, okay, one little, one little piece at a time, okay? Wow, look at that. And now the cooking begins. Okay, hello gentlemen. So as, as you were telling me, these are, this is, this is the, the father of, of the village. Nice to meet you, my friend. What's your name, what was his name? Apai. Apai, nice to meet you. What does Apai mean? Father. Father. Nice to meet you, Father. So Thank you so much. Now, oh. Now they would add in the, okay. the pandan. Oh, so we're stuffing pandan leaves yeah. in there now. Yeah, so the pandan is for the the um the smell or the aroma okay. of the chicken later on. We'll yeah. put it inside on this side. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, so you're laying it like that. Yeah. Okay, wow. So first thing first, what we do is that we'll take out the water. So you're taking out all the juices essentially yeah. that oh wow. Correct. Look at how yellow that is. Uh, the yeah. smell is the smell is crazy. Super strong uh ginger, super strong lemongrass aroma. Okay, and oh man. Also, the pandan plays a helpful as well. Oh my gosh, yeah, I forgot the pandan. Uh, not the chicken. Can I drink that? The pandan, uh, this one, yeah, no problem. Later on. Wow. Look how it's taken on that very, like, yellow color, just absorbing all the different juices. Man, that looks super tender. Yo, hold up, we got more delicacies rolling out. We got some rice over here. This looks like some beef. Yeah, this is a uh, adobo adobo beef. Adobo beef, yeah. okay. We also have jungle, Damn, that looks savory. Jungle fern pockets, the one that you've collected this morning. Oh this no way, that's one. okay. That's what we collected. Yeah, this is what you collected. And there it is. And also watermelon. And we got that watermelon for dessert. Yeah. Awesome. And hey, we didn't get your name. We didn't get to introduce uh, you to the world, bro. <laughs> well, my name is Fikri. Uh, I'm a local Bruneian here. Uh, well, I'm the host and guide. Thank you for coming. And here we go. We got ourselves a proper plate. Made sure to scoop on tons of that like. Bamboo, lemongrass, chicken, liquid mixture on there. All right, first up, we gotta try this jungle fern, this pacus uh, that we harvested ourselves. Pow. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That's good, it's got a really nice texture to it. It's not too, like, chewy. I really, really like it. It's got a great flavor to it. Kind of reminds me of, like, Chinese broccoli, but just a little, little crunchier, a lot easier to chew. All right, now time for the bamboo chicken that I prepared with my bare hands. Pow. Mmm. Okay, unreal. Can't even articulate like how juicy and how tender and how fragrant and aromatic that bamboo chicken is. That that is that is one of the best pieces of chicken that I've not only had in Brunei, but definitely that I've had in like throughout all of Southeast Asia. All right, dinner is done and it was pouring rain and we thought we weren't gonna be able to do the night walk, but uh, we're gonna push through it because it's kind of reduced itself to a light drizzle now. I'm gonna have to, well, I'm gonna have to crank up my light way brighter than this. All right, yo, everybody say what up to my new uh, Spanish friends from Spain. What's up, guys? Hey, uh, you guys came equipped with the headlamps, man. <laughs> They're engineers, yeah. way smarter than I am. That's why, that's why they brought the headlamps. Okay, first insect, look at that thing. A thorny stick or a thorny spine insect. Man, that thing looks stuff of nightmares. Can you hear the sounds of the jungle? After the rain, I almost dripped. <laughs> Watch your step going down here. So many like crazy. <gasps> it's it's just a stick. It's just a vine. It's okay. What is that? This is the thorny stick insect, but this one is the biggest species. That's the queen thorny stick yeah. insect. Wow. Let's get up close. Look at that. It's so dirty. Like it's just like covered in, in like mud. That is that is incredible. Oh. Are there any twenty foot anacondas? Ah, uh, sadly no. In sadly here, no. no. <laughs> I, would, I would have been a fun day. <laughs> Got some mushrooms right here. Oh yeah. Could have cooked those up with uh, our other food tonight. The light on my selfie stick is so bright that the bugs are just like flocking to it. My entire hand is just like covered with these little insects right now. Guys, we've got a pit viper sighting, and it's apparently poisonous. So we're not gonna touch it. Oh wow. Yeah, look at it. We don't want to get any closer than that, though. <laughs> wow. 
up there, up there. The beautiful, like most lime green color. That's outstanding. Crikey, I was kind of hoping we'd find ourselves a crocodile out here, but I don't think tonight is the night. I'm sure a lot of you guys don't feel that way too, but yeah, no spiders on this trip, unfortunately. Maybe tomorrow. Whoa, okay. Some sort of flying insect. And so making that noise is a locust, not a cicada. I thought it was a cicada, but this is the noise of a locust. Okay, successful night walk. Saw some creepy crawlies. Wish we would have seen some spiders, but hey, it's okay. And now we're going to get some Z's, 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 uh, and continue the rest of our adventure uh, tomorrow. So good night and sleep tight, guys. And it is breakfast time. We got the baked beans. We got the eggies. We got the sausage. No pork, right? <laughs> oh, and we got some what looks like to be like mi, mi goreng. Wow. Noodles for breakfast. Okay. Looks smacking. All right, all right, all right. Got some food in my belly. Got some sunscreen in my face. Might have a little something extra in the belly because didn't go to the bathroom this morning. Water bottle ready, life jacket on, safety first. And uh, we're about to board this longboat here and go to the canopy. Probably the number one thing that I was looking most forward to uh, here in Brunei. Yeah, the food is great. Yeah, the people are great. But man, once we get to this canopy, guys, a man right here keeping us steady and upright. All right. Whew. I don't know if I've ever been on a boat like this before. Oh, okay. <laughs> Almost as comfortable as the bed last night. Bye. All right, thank you, brother. See you in a couple days. I don't think you got the joke. And we are cruising, and it's breezy. And I dig it. Oh, this is so cool. Real jungle action adventure. Man, man, man. Maybe we're finally gonna see one of those killer crocodiles on this journey, I don't know. We got two lads from Australia. Got two lads from Australia at home, am I? No spoilers, huh? We'll probably meet them a little bit. The river, uh, because of the drought, it's so low. But I mean, here it almost looks like, it kind of looks like, what, 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 I don't know. I'm not gonna say rapids, but it's, it's pretty wavy and pretty bumpy. And so my man here is the stick out. So maybe he's using that to just like, propel us forward because I'd imagine that the actual motor the propeller can't go too deep into the water oh yeah it's gonna hit these rocks here I actually think we might have arrived uh, my, my Australia friends what are your what are you guys names uh, Thomas and Jan Thomas and Jan they pointed out the uh, the bridge there okay and I think that might be the canopy we are walking across so thank you sir and here we go welcome to Ulu Temburong National Park I like how the sign here, it looks like it's been around since like the 1960s. You can see like all the wear and tear on it. it gives it a very like jungly Jurassic Park feel. And we're going up. My man here says we got about a thousand steps. My man tells us about 110 steps down and we got about 800 to go. Here we go, the bridge. What I, what I suspect is the highlight, although if we're going up another 900 steps, I'm, I'm curious what else we're gonna see. This was the number one thing I wanted to do in Brunei, walk across this thing right here. Let me know in the comments below, you guys afraid of heights? Not really afraid of heights. Not gonna act like a tough guy, but eh, whatever. This thing pre seems pretty safe and secure. And again, Brunei's got that oil money. They're definitely doing everything to preserve the safety of, of the tourists here. They got the funds to take care of the people, you dig? All right, and we're doing it. Man, beautiful sunny day. Yeah, I mean, the bridge doesn't feel too shaky. Although that's probably why they only wanted five people to walk on it at once. I'm gonna. Got my hand, I got my, I got my phone in my hand over here. Cause you know, you gotta take, whoa, some, okay, now it's getting shaky. Now that we've reached the middle here and now there's a few more bodies on it. Oh yeah, wobbling, weaving, but it's good. Definitely a lot less sketchy than those bridges in Pakistan that we walked across, you dig? See more of the river down there. Oh yeah, this thing, this thing is sturdy. One bridge down onto, kind of a bridge, <laughs> kind of some stairs. Uh, of course, I had to stop and take pictures and I want to take uh, help the father and son Australia combo I'll take some pictures and the group is like come on come on come on I'm like we'll catch up. We'll catch up I came all the way From the United States to see that bridge 75% of the way up and I think I was confused because we're still working our way up to the canopy So maybe there's like another bridge walk very confused of what's going on, but yeah, we're almost there just crushing these steps So with most things in life when I travel and I go to a new country and I'm about to do an activity I usually go in not knowing what's really going on And so for this adventure, I only saw like one picture of this bridge 
So whatever this canopy thing is, who knows? I mean, I truly had no idea that we were going up all these stairs uh, as well. I feel it's more fun to not do any research and just to be surprised, especially when it's something in nature. You feel me? Holy shit. I did not expect this. And I know it's like a cliche YouTube thing. I did not expect this, but I really did not expect that. Look at how high that goes. That's crazy. That's some real like jungle, jungle for, yeah, serious business for sure. Some like jungle fortress levels out here, guys. What the hell? No way. And how, how many towers are there? Uh, five towers. Wow. Four climbable towers. Four climbable, okay. This looks crazy. What the heck? Oh my god. Well done. Everyone. Climbing it like that? Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, they're making me the leader. <laughs> Yo, this is wild. All right, we got we got we got to strap this GoPro. Yes, good luck. Onto Everybody. my hand. All right, Y'all. So let him go until this. This is this is this is a trip, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a straight up trip. Okay. Do you want to wear my shoe? What's up? Do you want to wear my shoe? No, I'll be okay. Famous last words. Yeah, I'll be I'll be fine in flip flops climbing this tall ass thing. Holy shit! I told you guys I wasn't afraid of heights. We might be taking that back. What? I mean, wouldn't be an adventure, right? Damn, we got some barbed wire up here. Okay. Well, it's not so bad because I literally only have to take like two steps and then move on to the next spot. No way. No way, no way, no way. This is wild. I'm not going to cut the video either. I want you guys to experience all this with me. I'm not even filming anything on my cell phone. Whew. I definitely got that like little little tiny pit in my stomach. Probably because I didn't go to the bathroom this morning. Oh my god, something just snap, crackle, and pop. Damn, damn, damn. Well, we're just moving. I always feel in situations like this, it's best to not even look how much further up I have to go. Yo, this is... This is crazy. This is crazy. I'm okay being the team leader though. <laughs> the guide's telling us something. Y'all down there better follow the rules. Oh man. I mean, it feels pretty sturdy. It ain't shaking or anything. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this in flip flops. Sandals. Stupid. Stupid. Yo, this is OC out of control. Okay, look at this. We still got a ways to go, actually. Oh, wow, we got, man, more than halfway. We're more than halfway up. Oh, I just need to take a breath. I'm not really stressed or anything. I gotta admit, since you guys are with me on the video, I feel a lot more like maybe relaxed and calm than I would have if I was just doing this by myself. Oh yeah, we're coming up here now. I asked my man if I should go up here barefoot and he was like, no, it's about to get hot. Damn. Okay, quick, quick view check. This is insane. This is crazy, guys. Yo, I'm so glad I didn't look up anything about this. I had no idea. I had no idea. Wow. It's cool, though. I feel like if you were taller than me, you'd be hitting your head on here. That'd be kind of difficult. <laughs> Our European friends downstairs. There's some tall guys, but they gotta be ducking on this. Okay, where are we at? <sighs> regretting leaving my water bottle. Bottle, <laughs> Regretting leaving my water bottle downstairs, but here we go. Oh man, looks like we made it. Unreal, unreal. We made it, we made it, we made it. Wow, absolutely OC, out of control guys. So, just gonna walk, <laughs> walk here with me. I'm not grabbing the uh, guardrails. I have to film on my cell phone because, you know, we got to get that short form content. No way, we're still going up. Oh my God, guys, this is, this is insane. Let's take a look back. Like, look how far it is down there. That's wild. Oh wait, we're going up. Whoops. Did I, did I take the wrong bridge? No. Oh, you can go. Oh, that's a lookout. Okay. I guess I'm going up to this one. I was confused as hell. What the hell? Make sure my phone is secure in my pocket. We don't want to lose that. It ain't coming back. I'm gonna have to hire a monkey to come get it. Okay, I'm, I'm just confused now, so 
Looks like this man's going up to like. I hear I hear people yelling. I hope they're not yelling at me. I'm just going. <laughs> I'm just going. What's the worst that could happen? Damn. I feel like it's gonna actually be a pain in the ass to get down compared to getting up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like uh I'm definitely definitely gonna have to like put the camera down when I go when I go down to make sure I don't bust my ass tripping. How you feeling? <laughs> this is so crazy. This is so crazy, guys. This is so crazy. Okay. This has got to be the craziest thing I've ever crawled up in my life. No cap. Look at these views, though. Holy smokes. Man. I don't even know what to say. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say. Man. Whew. Yo. I got a bathroom up here. Stomach's starting to rumble. <laughs> okay, look at that. <laughs> we're, I, obviously, we're going to get up more, but... Yo. Oh, my God, guys. This is so insane. Damn. Wow. Whew. One wrong step, and... Oh, man. Yo, 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 yo. This is crazy. <laughs> This is crazy. This is crazy. Yo, shout out my boys up there. All right, and we're just gonna we're just gonna keep moving on. And we're thinking positive, you know. Not even thinking about all the things that could go wrong. Not even thinking about all the time it took to construct something like this. But think about that though for a second, guys. Think about how much time and energy it took to make this. The architecture, the amount of people that came up here, the amount of people that might have died making something like this okay and we're still going and i think that's the last one all right we got to put the, the phone back down in my pocket now <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on like a straight mission to conquer this i'm not even like really stopping to admire the views oh shit, man this is <laughs> yo thank god brunei's got that oil money yo because some of the other countries i've been to these past couple years no way in hell would I go up something like this? It's like very sturdy. Very, very sturdy. We're not thinking about all the bad things that could happen. Earthquakes, natural disasters, twisters. Okay, and these steps are a little bit taller now, so we're going under here and we're ducking. Man, the sweat is just pouring off. Probably both from the heat. I like the adrenaline kicked up just a little bit. Holy shit. Man, this is such a trip. I hope you guys don't mind that I'm taking you along for the full journey. It would be kind of lame if I didn't film it. I just ended up at the top, right? And I'm gripping on everything I can. Holding ourselves steady. Yeah, I mean, I can't say I'd recommend doing this with a GoPro in your hand. But again, I am a professionally trained idiot. Oh, fuck. Man, this is... You're not gonna believe this, guys. I mean, maybe you will believe it because I showed you a little bit of a sneak preview. Can you tell like I'm walking a little slower now, a little more gingerly? Just cause like, the human body. Whew. Whew. Climb every mountain. Ain't no mountain high enough. Ain't no canopy low enough. Is this it? We reached the end. God, I am the conqueror. We did it. Oh no, we're still going up a little more, a bit more. Sweat, just drip drop, a drizz zipping. Well, I definitely regret like not going a little bit slower so someone could have taken my picture because I just got a badass picture. I'm gonna put it right here uh, on my friend from, from Spain. Whatever, I don't need the pictures. I got the memories right here. Of course, we got, we got this memory right here, but yo. The canopy not playing around. Look at that. All just uncharted, untouched jungle. Like what kind of crazy, crazy creatures are up in there, man? This is this is another another level, guys. Well, I mean, actually, there's one more level to go. If we uh go right over here and let's let's do it. Let's do it. And then I can shut off the video and I can go downstairs. Actually. Oh, Probably best not to like, oh my god, getting down is going to be such a mess. <laughs> it's going to be such a mess, guys. I'm definitely going to be the first one down because this sweat is just drip, drop, dripping. 
feel sorry for whoever's got to follow behind me and just get soaked. Holy shit. Man, 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 man. This is the trip. The trip of a lifetime. Brunei. Underrated. Underrated, guys. Absolutely underrated. Wow. You come to Brunei, you better come here. Don't just spend all your time in the city visiting the landmarks and stuff. Get your butt up here. Man, I kinda, oh man, here we go. Take that deep breath. You gotta remember that these are the moments we live for. This is, this is why I do this. Oh, okay, okay, hold up. We are at the top and man, that wind is blowing. And I'm, now I got my, my strap on. My selfie stick strap is on. You guys are disgusting. But look at this. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. We did it. Wow. <laughs> this is insane, man. This is so insane. I'm going to throw my phone to you and then take a picture of me, okay? <laughs> I don't want to go down just because going up was so much more fun. That's usually the case with every hike, everything in the world. Going up is the fun part, but going down, eesh. All right, y'all. I'm going to tuck my GoPro and Wish me luck. Okay, still still making my way down. But I'm just, you know, sometimes my mind wanders and I'm like, what if just like a shit ton of bees like started swarming on me right now? Like, what would you do? What, what would I do? Probably just surrender. Surrender to the end. Okay, I mean, you can see, can you see like, we have so much further to go? It's not even funny. It's not even funny. It's definitely, it's gonna take me probably longer to walk down, to climb down than it took me um, to get up just because, I don't know, with these flip flops, it's definitely a, a lot more dangerous of a, of, a, of a proposition out here, you feel me? And we made it. Let's start all the way at the bottom. Start up from the bottom, now here. And look at that guys, that's just insane, insane. Oh, oh Seattle. Yeah, so yeah, these are these are my new Seattle. friends Johnny and this yeah. is Johnny's mom. <laughs> and uh Seattle. California. And they're from California. Taiwan, California. Wow, you've been and all over. Shaku. Okay. And she and she, she told me that I was a so handsome boy. Messy, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Oh, I was very, very flattered. I still got it, guys. Yeah. Thank you. You're a very nice and mom I and son. Borderland. Borderland. Yeah, oh, okay. Alright, and we're back on the boat. That was a trip, man. My legs feel like jello. They were shaking like a leaf on a tree in a tornado. Going crazy. But man, that, that felt good. It was at that moment I realized that I did not put any sunscreen on my legs today. And that could be a problem. Uh, we're going to see a waterfall. They tell me it's a little waterfall. And well, because it's a drought, I got a feeling the waterfall is going to be as strong as a monkey taking a pee. So, oh no, did these break? You gotta be kidding me, I just got these. Oh my God, guys, check this out. Yo, it's it's the fish that we saw in Taiwan that like eat our feet, that eat like the dead skin cells. Let's see what happens here. Let's go in deep and uh, let's give these fish something to feast on. Oh, well, oh, damn, okay. Woo, woohoo! Yo, oh, oh, it feels so weird. Oh my God, it feels weird. Oh, they're going nuts. Oh, they're It's so weird. It's so weird. Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so weird. <laughs> and before we say goodbye, we gotta have one more lunch feast with our uh, new friends here. Some more of those vegetables we had yesterday. Nice little vegetable medley. And all of us are just absolutely starving. More veggies? No, this fish. is fish too. Oh, fish, yes, fish, I was hoping for some fish. Power. We got some chicken, we got some rice. It's time to crush it. I hope you had a very good day, and a very good time with us. Thank you, man. You're, you're the, the consummate uh, guy, and I appreciate no, that. Take care, brother. Bye. Bye-bye, yeah. man. And that's yeah. it, everybody. It's time to wrap it up. Uh, just an epi epic day. Didn't expect uh, any of that. Time to uh, go, get some rest, take a shower, get ready for our next adventure. Uh, in Thailand. Thanks to everyone who watched until the end of the video. Major respect and appreciation to you guys. Sumbaling Eco Village. Yeah, would definitely stay here again. Uh, greatly appreciate if you guys hit that like and subscribe button. If you don't, I'm inclined to believe you're a hater. You're not a hater, are you? Especially if you made it all the way to this part of the video. My name is Brent Tim from Brunei in Tumbaron. And I'm saying ciao. 
for now. Are we out?